Hello, here is Roman uh, Joanet, product manager at F5. And today we're going to go over the use of this uh, Ansible Galaxy role called BigIQ pinning deploy object, which is used to either pin object on BigIQ and deploy them on the BigIP. Or you can also use a role to unpin object uh, located on the big IQs. So the use case will be, uh, we'll use a role. Uh, first, we're going to install the role on big IQ and we're going to install it on a DCD. And what we'll do, we're going to use, uh, um, define the role to remove, unpin some of the certain keys uh, which are pinned to a device on the big IQ and then uh, do a deploy to remove them on the big IP. So let's get started. So first of all, um, in order to, to run the role, you have a couple options. Either you're very familiar with BIG, um, with Ansible, sorry, and then you can uh, you know, download the role on a Ubuntu box or even on your own laptop and then run the, the role from there. Uh, or you can also uh, use the BIGIQ Ansible runner here. I have a, I have a link, uh, which is essentially running Ansible into a Docker on the BIGIQ. Uh, so here we run the role on the BIGIQ itself. So if you click on the link here, uh, you end up on this GitHub page where, uh, first of all, you need to run a few things uh, to enable uh, you know, the use of Docker on the BigIQ. Uh, so here what we'll do, uh, we'll copy the whole uh, section here. And uh, here I just logged in on a DCD. Uh, you could run the role on the CM. Um, so I'm, I'm just using as a, as a client Antibol machine right uh, on the DCD. Let's go ahead and run those commands. So here uh, I'm able to uh, load up the Docker uh, Hello World, as you can see on the screen. So that works. And then I will go ahead and install uh, this Docker file. And very easy, as you can see, I'm just copy pasting The different commands here. So what we'll do here, we'll basically build a custom image, uh, which will be used to run uh, the Ansible playbook command uh, within the Docker. So why are we using Docker and why not are we just simply uh, running the Ansible, uh, you know, program on the big IQ itself? Uh, we're doing this so you know, we control and, and we don't have to deal with all the dependencies, uh, Python dependencies, which you may need uh, to deal with. Uh, when you install when you install Ansible um, on a box, um, so what what this Ansible uh, Docker uh, you know do if I just look at the Docker file here on the GitHub, um, we can see uh, we installed you know some some of the dependencies I need uh, and some of the role uh, which we're going to use, including this uh, big pinning role, right? So let's go back here and you can see uh, all the steps being executed, five out of 17. So right now we are installing in Ansible within the Docker. All right, so the Docker F5 Ansible running, uh, runner um, container is being is built. And then, you know, the way to, uh, you know, run and make sure things are uh, working fine. I do a Docker run, the name of the container, and this is a command Ansible playbook and version. And we can see uh, we've got, uh, you know, the versions um, uh, 3.8 installed and, uh, you know, things are looking pretty good here. Uh, we can also run the Docker images command uh, to look at the different image. Uh, we have our hello world. Uh, this is the first one um, to make sure things are working. And then the F5 Ansible runner, which is used, um, you know, we're going to use to run the playbook. All right, moving on. Um, so what we'll do here, we'll edit a uh, playbook. Uh, and what I'm going to do here, I'm going to simply uh, create a new file. And before, before creating the playbook, uh, let me tell you uh, what we're going to do here. So. I am on this big IQ here uh, under configuration, certificate, and keys. And for the demo, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to remove uh, the demo one, two, three, and the white card certificates uh, from the big IQ and the big IP. 
and we're going to use automation and rule to do that. So if I you know, scroll down under pinning policies, this is where we define uh, certain keys are attached to a big IP. So here I just have one big IP. Uh, I just clicked on it and I just want to show you uh, those two certs, uh, the demo one, two, three, and the white card, as well as the keys are pinned uh, to the device. All right, um, moving on, I just want to show you on the big IP here um, how this is looking like. Uh, but essentially, the certain keys are, uh, you know, showing under uh, system certificate management, uh, traffic certificate management, and we can see the white card and the demo one, two, three uh, certain keys. All right, let's move to the um, uh, playbook. So here we have this playbook. Uh, the example is actually showing also on the page, which will add the link in the description of the video. Uh, but essentially, we, de we define variables. So here the provider is BIQ and the login, the password. Um, you can also use um, a remote uh, authentication if you have um, a radio server or LDAP. Uh, we have example in the doc as well to tell you how to set that up. Uh, and the task. So here we're going to do a cleanup, as we said, um, and we're going to use a role, um, FI Dev Central BIQ pinning deploy object. Uh, this is the name of the task uh, which we're going to use for the cleanup. The device address, so this is a big IP where um, the certain keys are located. And uh, here is what we're gonna, where we're going to define the certain keys um, to unpin and remove. So here you can see the white card and the demo one, two, three. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this uh, example and I move over uh, the playbook. All right, the playbook is saved. Um, and the next step uh, is to run it. So to run it, uh, I will go back to the GitHub page, uh, look at the usage. And here is very easy. Uh, we go in that folder and we uh, essentially run it with uh, this command. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to uh, run this command. Right now, I just logged in within the Docker, uh, as you can see here. And the way uh, you know we execute the playbook, we essentially mount a local folder into this folder within the Docker container uh, called slash Ansible. And we recognize the playbook.yml file, which is showing here on the screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy this Ansible playbook command and run it. Just a quick, as a quick note, you can also use dash VVVV. You can append to that command to have the full debug output in case you know something goes wrong so you can understand what's going on. So here are all the different steps which are done. You can follow on the screen. You can notice the white card and the demo one, two, three, um, you know, which are showing on the screen, uh, specifying the playbook, uh, which are uh, going to be unpinned. And um, the playbook will actually create a job, a task in the BIQ deployment uh, window, uh, which will uh, review and proceed with the removal of those uh, certain keys. So, all right, here's done uh, with, We've, we've done like, um, you know, two certain keys, uh, but you know, you could append like a hundred of those if you like. Uh, so this is really the power of automation here. Uh, and if I go back to the big IQ, you've noticed uh, we have less pin object right now. If I click here and we look for the certain keys, we're not gonna see those, right? Uh, as you can see, we're not having the white card and the demo one, two, three cert. Um, so if I move to the deployment tab, uh, we've noticed this new evaluation uh, task, which has been created. Uh, you notice the name uh, is the same as the one specified in the playbook. We can look at the differences. Uh, so here I just click here and we can see uh, those four objects, the certain keys for demo one, two, three, and white card are um, you know, flag as removed. So we can go ahead and uh, deploy. One quick note before doing that, I highly recommend to do a full import and rediscovery of your big IP. Uh, you can do that under devices. Uh, and then if you select your device, select the two pair if you have a pair, and then you can do uh, rediscover and re-import. And when you do that, make sure you select use big IP, 
you know, so uh, we re-import the, you know, the update from your uh, big IP into the big IQ. This is in case you make local chain on the big IP, which uh, I assume you should not do. Um, all right, let's go back to the deployment. Uh, we show you where it is showing um, completed. Uh, and we can see there is no error. Um, you know, it looks pretty good. So now let's go back uh, into the big IP and refresh the page where we can see the white card as well as the demo one just research uh, have been removed. So thanks again for watching the video. Um, if you have any questions, uh, do not hesitate to reach out in the comments uh, and uh, have a good day. Thanks.